Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you're going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So I don't want you to use your calculator right here because here is a problem. We have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and in parentheses 2 plus 2. So as you can see no huge numbers, no squares, cubes right here, only 2. And a lot of students out there are like, yes I can handle this problem, I can handle this, this is basic addition, division, multiplication and addition. I learned this stuff in the third grade so this is really is really great yeah so go ahead and put your answer into the comment section and I'm going to show you here the correct answer in just one minute and we will check our answer it will be really interesting and really tricky just trust me yeah okay so here is a problem so 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and times 2 plus 2 so a lot of students ask uh, themselves okay do we do division first then uh, addition then multiplication or multiplication first then addition then division or parentheses first then addition division so as you can see a lot of combinations and moreover a lot of answers right here so a lot of different answer so here's our problem because obviously whatever order you select is going to create a different answer right so we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem and for this question I have this PMDMC order of operation this is the main popular order in the operation in the world all internet libraries scientific calculator graphing calculator work according to PMDMC which is really great and let's solve this question according to PMDMC so I just rewrite this question once more so 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and in parentheses 2 plus 2. So I just take my red pen and I want to write that PMDMC works from the top to the bottom right here this is our first step yeah so what is the first step according to PMDMC according to PMDMC our first step is this parentheses so are there any parentheses right here let's look at it so addition division no 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 yeah we have parentheses in the end of our expression so I take my red pen and we just start with these parentheses because 2 plus 2 equal to 4 and this is our first step according to PMDMC order of operation and I write my problem as in the beginning so 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and times 4 Okay, so from this expression we have this one, which is really great, because we skip this part with parentheses, we just solved it, and let's go to the next part. The next part, according to PMDMC, is exponents, our exponents. So are there any exponents right here? Let's look at it. Are there any squares, cubes, fourth power, fifth power? No, we don't have any of those, we don't have exponents, so we just skip this part. Okay, the next part, exponents parts. So are there any, uh, sorry, multiplication part. So are there any uh, multiplication sign? Yeah, we have multiplication sign right here. And a lot of students do this common mistake. They say, okay, multiplication, let's multiply it first. This two times four. But this is maybe the main common mistake right here because we need to work as a group, yeah? So multiplication and division, this is one group. So we need to look at it as a group. How can we solve it? We need to scan where do we have division and multiplication sign. Let's look from the beginning. So we have addition, it is great. Yeah, right here we have division, so I just, uh, just yeah, write, yeah, and then we have multiplication. So this is our next step, multiplication and division part. And here is a question, do we do multiplication first, then division, or division, then multiplication? Here is a question, and for this question I have an answer, we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. The first sign from left to right doesn't matter, multiplication, division, in our case this is division, so let's divide. 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1. And I write this expression that we have on the right hand side, so 1 times 4, and in the beginning, so 2 plus. Okay? I hope you understand this step. We just scanned what, is the, what was the first sign from left to right. Okay, let's solve this. Right now we have like addition and multiplication. Yeah, we need to do multiplication before division, before addition. So let's multiply 1 times 4 equal to 4. So 2 plus 4 equal to 6. This is our answer. But if you look at it, if you look at our option, we don't have this option. We have b equal to 4, c is 8, and a is 3 factorial. Really tricky moment. Because a lot of students then go back and then multiply it first. We will have like 2 times 4, this is 8, 2 times 8. And as you can see, if you multiply it first, we still don't have this option. But if you look at option a, 3 factorial. Okay, 3 factorial. This is equal to 1 times 2 times 3. This is equal to 6, which is really great because here is our correct answer in this to this question because 3 factorial equal to 6, which is the same. So our answer our answer is a, option A. This is our correct answer. 3 factorial of if you're talking about PMDMC, this is 6. 
This is my explanation to this problem, ok? If you made this error, I'm happy you made this, because you won't make this again. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, ok? If you want to check your check this answer with check this answer with like uh, calculators, you can easily do this, but I, I suggest you to work with internet libraries or like scientific graphing calculator, because if you use your like regular telephone, yeah, this regular telephone works as with problems as, as you type it in, yes? Yeah? So if you type this problem step by step, they will add, then divide, then multiply, then parentheses, so in order as you type it in, yeah? So just work with, maybe with Wolfram Alpha if you know what I'm talking about, this is really a, a popular internet library and you can easily check this answer. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, ok? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, you can easily subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure, thank you for your time and have a great day.